Okay, so uh, one more part left to do, and that's part C. And in part C, you're asked to factorize f of x completely. Okay, so pause the video if you want to give that a go, and come back uh, just to check your answer when you're ready. Okay, welcome back. If you had a go at this, let's see if you've got this one right. Okay, so to do this, we know that already that x plus 3 is a factor of f of x, so it should go into it exactly, leaving no remainder. So what I need to do is establish the quadratic factor. So I'm going to just write a subtitle here, the quadratic factor. You don't have to do this, but uh, I think it helps. It just uh, enables the examiners to uh, see where we're going. The other thing is I'll just scroll this up um, just so that we've got some room. So for the quadratic factor, what I'm going to do is divide x plus 3 into, and I'm going to divide it into f of x. f of x, remember, we were given it is 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 29x minus 60. Okay, so again, if you have problems with algebraic long division, our tutorial should help you on this. Okay, so assuming that uh, you're familiar with this, all we've got to do now is find a value that you have to multiply the x by in order to give 2x cubed here. And that's going to be 2x squared. So I'd write the 2x squared over the top here and then do 2x squared times x plus 3 at the front. So 2x squared times x gives 2x cubed, and I'll put my answer underneath here. 2x squared times plus 3 gives plus 6x squared, so that's plus 6x squared. And now I need to subtract these two from one another to work out the remainder. So 2x cubed minus 2x cubed is 0, so I won't bother writing that in. Then we have plus 3x squared, and we're going to subtract plus 6x squared. And that comes to minus 3x squared. Always take care over these subtractions, very easy to trip up. Next, bring down the next term, minus 29x. So bring that down, put it here. And we repeat the process all over again. That is, what do I multiply this x by in order to get minus 3x squared? And that's minus 3x. So that goes up the top here, minus 3x. So we now multiply minus 3x with the x plus 3 and put our answer underneath here. So minus 3x times x is minus 3x squared. That goes here. And then minus 3x times plus 3 is minus 9x, and that goes underneath here. Subtract again to find the remainder. Minus 3x squared, subtract minus 3x squared is no x squared. So I won't bother putting it in. Careful here, minus 29x, subtract minus 9x. That's 20x, sorry, minus 20x. Okay, so that goes in. Now we bring down the next term, minus 60. And start all over again. What do I multiply this x by to give minus 20x? And that's minus 20. So it goes up here, minus 20. So minus 20 times the x plus 3 gives minus 20x. And minus 20 times plus 3 minus 60. And you can see this is looking good because when we subtract now, minus 20x minus minus 20x is nothing. And minus 60 subtract minus 60, that too is nothing. Zero. Zero our remainder as we would expect since x plus 3 we had shown was a factor. If we hadn't got zero here, then obviously there would have been a mistake, a mistake somewhere in the working here. 
Okay, so we've now got uh, the quadratic factor and we're on our way to factorizing f of x completely. So I'm going to put therefore f of x is identical to the linear factor x plus 3 multiplied by the quadratic factor that we've just calculated 2x squared minus 3x minus 20. Okay? So we have the quadratic factor 2x squared minus 3x minus 20 and we're asked to factorize f of x completely so we would expect that the quadratic factor is going to split into two more linear factors purely because it says completely. That gives us that hint. So I come down underneath and this is identical to x plus 3 and we split the quadratic factor into two linear factors. And in the usual way we have 2x and x to multiply together to give 2x squared and then two numbers multiply together to give minus 20. Uh, that will be a plus 5 and a minus 4. Let's put the plus 5 there and the minus 4 there. Just check it. That's 2x squared minus 8x plus 5x. That's minus 3x. And then you've got plus 5 times minus 4 minus 20. So there you go. That's uh, f of x factorized completely. So I hope you got that one. And if you did, give yourself four marks. Well done.